Subscribe for last week, episode 37. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Laugh from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just want to do a quick shameless plug before we go on. Just want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. I also wanted to do a quick shout out to Elron, Justin, and Louie for doing that nice intro for us this week. But anyways, just want to let you guys know how busy my day was today. Basically, I woke up around 6.45 a.m running and doing the loop with my boxing headband on, practicing my punches. And afterwards, because my wedding is in a couple of months, we went to Moore's for a suit fitting. We also saw that just in the next door over was Jollibee. So we decided to walk in and visit my cousin Eliza. And after she was done work, I went with my niece Kay to pick up Eliza to take them both on their first mini carpool. How was work? It was good. Look at what we got! She's trying to kill. Oh, oh Hello Kitty! Oh, she squashed Hello Kitty! Kitty. No! Thanks, Eliza and Kay! Have you tried that with your guys? And by the way, did I mention that we got some Jollibee out of it? Some peach mango pie and some ube pie. And I can't wait to eat these later on tonight. But even before that, we went to nearby Morningside Park to celebrate my mommy po's birthday. So yeah, once again, happy belated birthday, Mommy Po! And I hope that you enjoyed your birthday celebration at the park earlier today. And speaking of birthday celebrations, I got a birthday greeting for Charmaine! Happy birthday, Charmaine! I remember our days back at Ryerson when I went to school with you and graduated with you in 2009. As well, a couple weeks ago, running into you and seeing you at the hospital that I work with. Anyway, Charmaine, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a happy birthday. But before I let you guys go today, just wanted to show you this quick clip of how nice and beautiful the red sky was tonight during sunset. So, after waking up early yet again this morning, I took a nice little run with my boxing headband for the second day in a row, and I also made the fiancé this amazing breakfast making her a mushroom, tomato, spinach, and cheese omelette, along with some banana, spinach, fruit, and almond milk green juice. Mainly because we had a big, busy day today. And that involved going over to my cousin's place and help babysit my niece and my nephew. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Nina, are you suckling on your toes? Yeah. You want to go to the Who's that baby? Who is that baby, baby? baby. <laughs> As well, we got to see an aspiring dinosaur in the making.
By the way, I forgot to mention to you guys that I actually saw one of these Google Street View cars driving around earlier today. So, I'm just gonna timestamp this video and hopefully, in the future, I'll let you guys know if the Mini actually made it to the Google Street View website. Guys, the sun hasn't even risen yet. Like, look at it outside. But you know, I gotta be a good fiancé and I gotta drive the fiancé to work this morning. But yeah, since I'm dropping off the fiancé at work early this morning, I decided to make a quick little drive down to Woodbine Beach and enjoy this beautiful weather outside. Being 18 degrees, a little bit chilly, but at least I'm getting my vitamin D in and getting a nice bright early start to the day. So it's this person. Good morning, everybody. Come who, on down. Who freaking <laughs> made me play volleyball <laughs> on lack of sleep, but I thank her for it. Thanks, Elena. Hey, anytime, Jay. Glad you can come out. <laughs> So, after taking a mid-afternoon post-beach nap, and before I go in for my first of my four night shifts tonight, we just have a birthday greeting for my cousin, Tote. Happy birthday, Tots. I remember when I was younger, we would pick you up from Kingsway College, your school at that time, and then drop you off at neighboring Bowmanville, as well as the time that you taught me how to play the drums at your house in North York. Anyways, Tuts, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy up in Saskatchewan at this time, spending time with the family, and I'm hoping that you had a happy birthday. So, it's a beautiful Friday morning post night shift and guess where I am? That's right, back at the beach. Unfortunately for today, don't see anybody that I know. So I guess I'm just gonna head home and take my post night shift nap like I usually do. So after going to the beach, taking a nap, then doing a quick session on the stationary bike, I'll be off to my second of my four night shifts tonight. And with it being kind of difficult to do things between night shifts, I'll just leave it at that and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So after my night shift this morning, oh man, she was right. So get this, the fiance warned me that her phone is inside the room at this time. And she had one warning that her phone might go off while I'm recording. And after not getting any messages for the past couple of hours, after I hit record, her phone started to blow up. I guess it's just karma for buying those dumbbells last Friday without telling the fiance. Which, by the way, when she watched last week's episode of Live From Last Week, she found out. But anyways, after I got off my night shift this morning, I had a little bit of energy to spend. So I decided to put on these new workout gloves that I bought a couple of days ago. And after that, I started on my 100 daily push-ups, get on the bike for a 15 minute warm up and make use of my new weights that I got a week ago. So I did a quick little one hour workout, which comprised of eight exercises. I did some curls and presses, 
some goblet squats, some dumbbell swings, some thrusters. Can't remember what these are called, but I did those too. I did some dumbbell rows, some farmer's walk lunges, and a couple of other exercises that I can't quite recall the names of. And after that, for my workouts, I thought I'd call it a day. So after taking my post-night shift nap earlier this afternoon, I woke up to the fiance making this. A beautiful dish set out for dinner. So before I go in for my third of my four night shifts tonight, I'm gonna have some of that delicious meal and I'll just see you guys again tomorrow. Ooh ah, it's Sunday morning. And last night, before I went into my night shift, I saw my odometer read this. We got a milestone. My mini had 88,888 kilometers. And check out my gas tank mileage, 416. The area code of Toronto. And the time this photo was taken, 711. But anyways, as I mentioned, it's Sunday morning. And you know what that means, guys. Time to take a carpool with the Mini and have the fiancé drive me. Because today is Let Your Fiancé Drive Sundays. So after taking my post-night shift nap, we're back in the Mini. We're headed to Thompson Park in Scarborough, in between night shifts, might I add, to attend a picnic for the San Miguel Iloilo Overseas Association. We took the sister on a ride in the mini carpool. <laughs> you can do the night at the rock fairy thing. <laughs> okay, bye Nika. Have a safe trip to bye, Ottawa. Thanks for mini carpooling with us. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. And yeah, before I go in for my fourth, the last of my four night shifts tonight, we just have a birthday greeting for Jojo. Happy birthday, Jojo. I remember playing beach volleyball twos with you several years ago. And can honestly say that I enjoy watching your outdoor adventures that you post on Facebook. Anyways, Jojo, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Hope to play you in twos sometime soon on the beach. And I hope that you had a happy birthday. So, with it being the first Monday in September, just want to wish everybody out there a happy Labor Day. And you know what they say, you shouldn't wear white after Labor Day. But after my fourth of my four night shifts this morning, even though it's a blank canvas and I can get anything on it, I wore my white scrubs and I came away unscathed. But anyways, I heard that one of my coworkers was leaving and it's a fellow Jaywalker POV subscriber, Abigail. One of my coworkers that would always offer me carpools before I had my mini. But anyways, Abigail, although you're leaving, I'm wishing you the best on your nursing adventures. And don't worry, I'll be sure to hit you up whenever I'm BC where you're going. Anyways, earlier today, after taking a three hour post night shift nap, I did a two and a half hour workout getting back on the stationary bike, as well as doing the workouts that I did a couple days ago. And yeah, I gotta stay consistent in this workout in order to see progress. And yeah, even though I'm in downtown after dropping off the fiance at work for her night shift, we'll see what else we can get up to on my day off on Labor Day. Well, what do you guys know? I'm back at Woodbine Beach. And I guess we'll wrap up the episode here. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, 
and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.